Today I want to talk about the tube tool and introduce all of the things it can do on a beginner level. So I want to go through each of the little settings and kind of uh, get you in motion with this tool because it's a great tool and it's especially good for really organic shapes like hair, which is what I'm using it for on this character. So when you hit tube tool over here on the right hand side or you go to this little button at the top, go to add and select tube you'll get that tool. I am actually going to add it from the side. So I'm going to hit tube on the side and I'm going to start with a curve just to show you what the curve tube tool does. See that it's selected. It's in tan here and I just draw and that's the tube. That's it. It is created from what you draw straight up and you get a lot of little points. I don't particularly like this one because you get so many points. I prefer to use path and I prefer to use path on B spline, but you don't have to. And by doing this, you set a few points and if you drag, you can create a curve. I like this because it gives a lot of uh, control. So if I turn B spline off, you'll see I still have those points and I'm creating it point by point, but I don't have the same level of smoothness. So B spline on gives you those smooth curves, right? So let's see, we're gonna make this into a strand of hair. So I'm gonna move all the pieces around a bit and into place. If there's a point that you don't want, you just hold that point with your um, Apple Pencil and pull it on top of one of the X's nearby and that will delete a point. Beautiful. Okay, so when you have the shape you want, you just select the green dot next to your points and that will give it volume. Now you'll see that you've got this nice menu at the top. This will be all of the options that you can use for this tube. But first, we're just going to start out with how to make your tube thicker or thinner. You're going to go to the little tan dot near one of the ends of your tube and if you pull it out, it'll make it thicker and if you pull it in, it'll make it thinner. And as you can see, it's moving in a uniform way where every point is getting the same amount of thickness or thinness and that can be changed as we go along. But right now I'm going to leave it here and move to the right of validate and I'm gonna go through each of these steps. So we're gonna start with edit. Now edit is just going to give you a couple options. You can mirror, and then that'd be done. That'd be kind of weird looking. Um, I don't want a mirror, so I want to go back to edit. I'm not going to validate this just yet because if you validate, it's permanent. So back to edit. We're going to keep it on edit and we're going to hit mirror. That's what we just did. We saw that. I don't want that for hair because I don't need it to be symmetrical. Next up, we have something called snap. So if I hit snap, you'll see that the uh, tube itself is aligning itself with the geometry. I can move parts of the tube into the geometry, but I cannot move the ends into the geometry. So if I wanted this hair to go into the scalp at the end, I can't do it with snap on. Sometimes this is useful, but for me in this uh, exact scenario, it's the opposite of useful. It's actually harming me. So I'm gonna turn snap off and then I can put it right into the scalp. Snap, uh, it can be useful if you want things to go straight onto the geometry, but not into the geometry, but um, don't recommend it for hair, at least not for that part. I can leave snap on when I do the rest of the hair, but just not the edges, the ends. Okay, so that is snap. Now closed is its own beast. If you hit closed, you'll see suddenly you have a full circle. So. Now, this is no longer a strand of hair, but oops, it is a loop, which is cool and great for certain things like donuts and all sorts of other shapes, but not quite perfect for hair, maybe for a bun, I don't know. Um, so that's what closed does. I'm gonna leave closed off for now and I'm gonna show you cap. So I'm just pulling the ends out of the scalp for now so we can see the caps. Caps are the ends of the tube. So there's one, 
there's the other. Now, if we hit cap, we'll see we have an empty tube with no thickness. So if I look at both ends, I can see that it's completely hollow. If I size it up or down, doesn't change a thing. If I hit cap again, I only get one cap on one end and the other end is hollow. If I hit cap again, it switches ends, which end is capped and which end is hollow. And if I hit it a third time, they're both capped again. I like them to be capped most of the time. Hole is kind of cool um, for if you were creating piping or something like that. You can see it now has a hole, kind of like hole, but there's thickness to it. So if I hit this little blue button, I can make the thickness less or more, and that is useful. But for hair, hole doesn't really make sense, so I'm going to turn that off. Now radius I use all of the time. You'll see right now only one button on radius is lit up and there's only one radius button to change the thickness of the hair. If I tap radius again, both ends have different radius dials, little tan dials. So I can change one to be thick and one to be thin like this. And that's actually quite useful for hair. I love it. But even better than that is if I hit radius a third time, I can now control every point on the tube. So every point can have its own thickness. And this is hyper useful, um, especially for hair. So if I turn snap on, I can pull the hair back into the head and keep that radius down when it goes into the head. That's very cool, kind of over the top here. Nice, okay, so that's radius. That one you'll use all the time. Uh, once I have kind of a thickness I like, I can turn it off if I want, but it does change the, the thickness back to the original. So you actually do have to leave it on to maintain the thickness that you got with each individual point. Twist is similar to radius in that it has three dials. I personally uh, like to keep it at one and it really doesn't matter if you have a round shape for twist. But if you change the profile to the right of twist, you'll get a shape that is somewhat rectangular. Um, I believe it's being derived from the one to the right of that, also called profile, where you can design the shape of your tube. So your tube doesn't have to be a cylinder. It can be rectangular shaped with flat ends, and you can use that purple twist to change the direction at which it sits on the head. So that is pretty cool too, I think. Um, and I can use that to rotate. Now, if I hit that triple, um, triple dot twist button again, I'll get twist on either side. So I can kind of give it different direction depending on the top and bottom. So right now I've given it a little twist manually. If I hit it a third time, I can twist every single um, there we go. Whoa, every single point separately. So that, I mean, that kind of looks cool. It's got a curly look to it now. I like that. Um, and like I said, that profile bar looking button, if you add points to it, you just tap and add points, you can make it even more original. So this is changing the shape. It's as if I'm creating a cookie cutter and then squeezing Play-Doh through it. Um, and the tube is the Play-Doh. It takes on the shape of the cookie cutter. So if that makes any sense at all, um, that's what that profile does. And then if we just tap on this profile uh, triple dot to the left of the bar, you'll see how that changes things. I, I think that's pretty cool. Um, B-spline Similar to how the path had a B spline, we can select B spline for our um, hair here, and that allows us to change the shape. Now it's not quite working with um, the twist, so if I turn that off, Ah, if I turn it, if I turn B spline on, so right now it's off because it's white. If it's activated, it'll be tan, just like anything. If anything is tan, it's activated. Um, you'll see that the points aren't landing on the curve it 
itself. That is what a beast line is. It allows for really smooth transitions. And um, yeah, I don't think that that is bad. If you want to add a point after you've already made the curve, it's totally possible. You literally just click on that curve and there you go, you've got a point. Um, and if you want to delete it, just like I showed you before, you hold it down and pull it onto the nearby point that becomes an X. So that is B-spline. Now the constant density is automatically left on. If you turn that off all the way on the far right, you can change the wireframe makeup and give it more uh, mesh, more dense mesh, I should say. Uh, and you can really see that by selecting wire on the bottom. You can see what the wireframe is. And if I change it, say from 30 to 300, you could see how much thicker that wireframe became. Same thing with this. If I make this um, 500, it's that much denser. And you can tell it's denser mesh because the lines are closer together and there's a lot more of them. And it gets darker because it has more lines. Um, I'm just gonna undo all that because I actually like it to have a constant density and I want the density to be somewhat low. So that is a very quick overview. There are three dots at the end of this menu. This is um, kind of more advanced, so I'm not gonna hit this on this tutorial, but just know that you've got some max faces options. You can change uh, change things and specify, but it's more complicated than we need it to be right now. So I'm not gonna get into it, but uh, I hope that going over all of these helped you. I know profile can be a little confusing, but you get used to it as you play with it. So um, use cases for that come in handy and they will come about here and there. So that's almost it. Now, once you have a curve you like, I'm gonna turn off wireframe because I don't like to look at wireframe all the time. I'm going to kind of turn my profile back on. I liked that twist and I'm gonna validate this. So to validate and lock in what you've made, you're gonna hit that green check mark button on the far left of the menu. Click that and you've got yourself one strand of hair and you can make the next one by just hitting um, tube again and starting again. That's it. I hope this helped you guys. Please let me know in the comments if it did and if you have any questions. And I have a whole playlist in Nomad if you want to see more. Thanks.